years on this uh, web day. Um, thank you for your great effort to come here to, to be in this mess. The words of the Lord this weekend tell us that we need to be alert and we need to be prepared uh, for the coming of the Lord when He calls us back to Him. In doing so, let us be faithful to the commandments of the Lord and especially doing what the Gospel is inviting us. As we continue the Mass, let us also ask God for mercy and forgiveness for all the sins we have committed. I confess to the Lord my God and you
This was the expectation of your people, the saving of the virtuous and the ruin of their enemies. For by the same act with which you took vengeance on our foes, you made us glorious by calling us to you. The devout children of worthy men offered sacrifice in secret, and to this divine pact they struck with one accord that the saints would share the same blessings and dangers alike. And forthwith they had begun to chant the hymns of the fathers. The word of the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
There is no need to be afraid, little flock, for it has pleased your father to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give arms. Get yourselves purses that do not wear out, treasures that will not fail you, in heaven where no thief can reach it and no moth destroy it. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be. See that you are dressed for actions, and have your lamps eat, and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy thou servants, whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table, and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes, or in the third, but happy thou servants, if he finds them ready. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the buckler would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall or his, of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us, or for everyone? The Lord replied, What sort, what sort of steward then is faithful and wise enough for the Master to place him over his household, to give them their allowance of food at a proper time? Happy that servant, if his master arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you truly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the servant who says to himself, My master is taking his time coming, and sets about beating the men servants and the maids and eating and drinking and getting drunk, his master will come on a day he does not expect and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. The servant who knows what his master wants but has not even started to carry out those wishes to receive very many strokes of the lash the one who did not know but deserves to be beaten for what he has done who receive fewer strokes. When a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has had a great deal given him on trust, even more will be expected of him. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm guessing all of us here have been on a plane and when we are on a plane we always hear this message from the crew or from an attendant. We would like you to pay attention to these instructions. Well, the attendant will go on to ask us to do the seat belt to tell us where the emergency exits uh, or the um, life vet will be under our seat and the oxygen um, mask will be loaded for us just in case of emergency. This preparation is for us for the unexpected and that is the message we always hear no matter how many times we fly. And that is also something that our Lord Jesus is telling us this weekend. Be prepared for the unexpected. And he uses the parable of the servants waiting for their master coming or returning to help us to think about our spiritual life. Life is a journey, and we all know that the Lord can, 
Come back and call us at any time. We know that. And he also used the word, he would come at the unexpected hour. You all know that my, my mom passed uh, a few months ago and she was 30, uh, 73. And I thought mom could live up to 80. That was what I thought. So I was a little bit shocked when mom passed away in an unexpected situation. You know, lung cancer happened and she had gone in three weeks, very unexpectedly. And a few weeks later, I also had a high school <coughs> classmate who died at the age of 38. He was a young man, a very fine doctor, and he had a big plan for his future. He was building a hospital for himself. Two kids, and he, he was also building a house as well. But and then the Lord called him back. So we all know that something that we are always scared to talk about, death or the hour of our time, our, the hour of our life, would come at any time. We all know that. So what we need to do as the Lord advise us, that we need to prepare ourselves. We need to live a, a good life, a holy life. We are here to live a holy life. And that is what we, what we need to do. When we do that, then we have no fear at all. We have no fear of, of death. Yesterday, I went to hospital to visit a patient there, and he just went out of uh, surgery. And when I went to see him in ICU, I just, after saying hello, and I asked him, how are you? Um, and he said, uh, I'm okay, but Father, can you anoint me? He was, he is doing okay. He is doing fine. But he said, could you please anoint me? Just in case. <laughs> that was what he said. But he's, he's doing fine. Doing fine. But I could see that he, he just wanted to, to be um, holy, to, you know, to be prepared himself. And that is something that we all need to do, even though I am okay, I am well, I am healthy, and you are too, but then again, we never know what will be happening tomorrow. Sounds very scary and something we don't want to talk about, we don't want to discuss, we don't want to hear. But it is part of life, it is the reality. Some people say that, well, when your hour is up, your hour is up, just enjoy life. Do whatever you like. We only live once. Ah, yes, but we also believe in the life after death as well. So that's why in, 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 while we are here, we have got to do our best to live a holy life. <coughs> the words or the parable was given to the apostles, to Jesus' disciples. It is also given to us to reflect and to think about our own spiritual life. Let us uh, listen to the attendant on the plan, what they want us to do, just like the way we listen to the words of Jesus. When we do that, we are ready for the unexpected, for the unexpected hour. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one.
for the church that by faith we may live wholeheartedly for God, confidently facing all challenges. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our For our common home, that there will be peace among nations, wildfires, heat waves, flooding, and COVID will cease, and that all people will, will, will work towards these goals. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our for people held in slavery or bondage, that they may be freed and enabled to live their lives with dignity, self-respect and confidence. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own parish, that we will be a welcoming community and that our faith will go stronger as we walk with Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parishioners and loved ones who have died, that God will meet them face to face on their journey to eternal life. We remember Marie Cunningham, Margaret Richards, and Mary Duffy. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our Loving Father, when those who are afflicted go out, you hear and save them from distress. Please be close to us in our name. Through Christ our Lord.
is to live what and just down to the now salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of God, that by sinning we have lost in this obedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your home. 
mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
in your sacraments that we have consumed, save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. 